she wasn't just drawing water for 10 camels. Welcome to Hanukkah Meditations 2023. Tonight is the sixth night of Hanukkah, Hanukkah Sameach. You know, Kabbalah teaches us that the Hanukkah candles possess something very, very deep. We know that when God created the world, the primordial light was created on the first day. But then God hid it. He hid it for the time of the Messianic era where it will burn and bright, and, and bright brightly again, one, once, once again. And therefore it's now called the Or Haganuz, the hidden light. And the question is, where did God hide this hidden light? So the first answer is he hid it in the candles of the Hanukkah, of the Hanukkah candles. We are taught that the power within the, each Hanukkah candle contains the power of the Oraganus, bringing clarity, infinity, miracles, and just a whole other depth of experience in our daily life and our ongoing experience. But there's someplace else that it was hidden because we know that there's something else that's compared to a candle. And that's the Torah. The Torah has within it that clarity. When we learn Torah, it's not just an academic subject. Jewish wisdom, besides containing beautiful academia and bright ideas and beautiful concepts and information and, and inspiration, it also has a special power within it to give us that clarity, give us that depth and give us that connection. The eternity of the Jewish people, the Jewish continuity always was connected in any time of history, there was always Jewish learning, Jewish wisdom, Jewish academies of higher learning. Similar to Bina, or Yeshivas, or places of intense study. It is so important as a Jew to have time to study and to explore the deep and ancient wisdom that we are so enriched by. Let me show you an amazing connection. In the story, of Eliezer, the servant of Abraham, going to look for a wife for Yitzchak. And he finds Rivka and he tests her to pour water. So it says in the Torah, Batered Kada, she promised to feed them water, the camels and everything. She took down her jug, Kada. And she gave water to drink to Eliezer and his camels. The word Kada, Kad, means a jug. Synonymous also with a jug of oil that was found in the Hanukkah story. But the word kad also is haftal, the 24, which are the 24 books of the Tanakh, a reference to Torah and Torah study. So just think about this for a moment. You can do it by closing your eyes if you want. As we sit next to the Hanukkah candles, the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe would say, and when you sit next to the candles, you need to listen to the story that the Hanukkah candles tell us. So for a moment tonight, sit by your Hanukkah candles and hear the story. Story of Jewish survival. Story of Jewish miraculous existence. Story of who we are, the story of the power and the soul that we have. And what else is in that story? is the plea to take the Hanukkah candles with us throughout the year and experience them through learning, maybe another shi'ur, maybe another article online, but to enrich ourselves, fortify ourselves, strengthen ourselves with the power of Jewish learning, so emphasized in the Hanukkah story and the Hanukkah miracle. That's the story for tonight, for the Hanukkah candles, asking us to think about time to learn, time to study. Hanukkah Sameach.